the big Piraiba has been sick, I think, because it was showing very early symptoms, the same as the Alpha Peru Piraiba that we lost recently. This one is from Suriname. And today, as I went inside the tank to clean it, it jumped out for the first time ever, any Piraiba. It got spooked and jumped right out, which made a huge mess. It was very hard for me to grab it. I mean, it was laying right here. Grab it and uh, put it back, but I put it back. I, I don't know if it's going to come back because it's been sick before that. It goes from upside down to right side up. Right now it's laying upside down. So I don't know what's going to come of it. Well, this is the end of the road. Even though it pretty much killed itself when it jumped out, it was getting sick before that. So I'm not sure if it would, if it, it would even have lived. But uh, it didn't die from injuries or from anything. It died from stress. I guess large fish, a lot of large fish like Arapaima, Piraiba, and others. Uh, they can take big stress. It spent out of water maybe, I don't know, one minute, maybe less. And uh, it, it wasn't the lack of oxygen that killed it, it wasn't the disease, it was just starting to show the symptoms that other fish were showing, like uh, restlessness and loss of appetite and swimming all over, including at the surface. But it hasn't been swimming upside down or spinning at all. So I don't know when that would have come, and if it would come, but uh, what killed it was stress. So we're going to take it out and measure. I just rolled it out of the fish house in this garbage toter. Okay, if uh, the tail was intact, it would be five feet. I mean, most of the tail is missing from it, when it was flapping, it broke pretty much most of its tail, plus a bit was bitten off. So five feet would be somewhere here, and that's about as much of the tail as, as that's missing. So we'll call it a five-footer. We got it in, uh, I think, 2016 or 17. Already at foot and a half, so that makes it, uh, today is 2022. Five, six, maybe seven years old we'll say. Seven years old, five foot. And that's the end of it. You see the head is... The head alone is one foot long from tip to to the gill. Tip is one foot. The tail is pretty much one foot from four to five, so the body is three feet. The grave is dug under our young mango tree. I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, they grow big in our care, but they don't last. Next week I'm going to the veteran, uh, veterinary doctor in Stewart, Florida, Susan Fogelson, fish, la fish head labs, and she's going to analyze, uh, I'm going to take probably two gulper catfish and one uh, three and a half foot uh, tiger shovel nose red tail hybrid that are currently sick with the same symptoms. And we're gonna try and figure out what is wrong with them. I'm also working with the uh, University of Florida vet veterinaries, Dr. Uh, Ruth Francis Floyd and Dr. Uh, Robert Oz Osiboff. So with their help also, with the three 
three very very excellent highly recommended professionals in the veterinary field and professors the two of them Susan has a PhD also she's a doctor of uh, aquatic pathology I hope we'll figure it out bye Kuma his or her nickname was Kuma by the way I don't know if they can be vented but we can try I'm gonna have to look up what uh, female and male venting looks like on Pura Iba and if a difference can be can be told Remember, I don't remember if I said it in the beginning. I just realized maybe I missed it. But uh, the uh, the way it died was I, I went in and to, to clean the to clean the window as I always done for like, and it never bothered Piraiba. But yesterday, when it doing its when it was doing its laps, it came close to me, tried to turn around, and then jumped it jumped out of the tank when I was cleaning the window obviously it freaked out and flopped on the floor for about a minute I couldn't even approach it it was very violent and these these spikes if they hit you it's gonna hurt a lot I mean they can they can puncture you or in a very unfortunate case they can kill you if you hit in the heart that's what that's uh, it's about a uh, eight inch spine right now it's not sharp but usually it is sharp right now it's broken off and there is a spine right here too broken off also about eight or ten inches anyhow I mean I had to wait it out until it stopped flopping so I could pick it up and put it back in the tank and it swam around a little bit but then went into shock. I mean it was obvious that after about an hour or two its body be began to to be uh, to become stiff. It couldn't move anymore. That's that's one of the stages of death or agony in fish. They stiffen up many other animals too and then they perish. I mean it was it breathed when it went to sleep. This morning it wasn't breathing already.